pop this abandoned storage unit for $1,500 and there's vehicles in the front. I see video games and so many boxes that there could be anything inside. Let's start pulling some out. The main reason this storage unit went so high, obviously, check out this beautiful guy right here. The Wolf RX 50. I was looking for somewhere that the key might be like a storage. Usually I assume it's under the seat, but I can't get this seat to come up and I don't want to pull it. So if you drive a moped, you better let us know down in the comments if this seat's supposed to come up and how to do it. Like new, these are going for about $1,500. Pre-owned like this one in this good of shape, $750 to $950 all day. This fan right here, this is how you stay cool. Oh my gosh, I can't even budget. What? Okay, I was just stuck. <laughs> Check that out. That is how you stay cool. It's a little bit dusty now, a little bit dusty. But once you get rid of that dust, that will guarantee you that you're always cool. This was something else I noticed in the picture. See that silver PlayStation 2 Slim right there? Beautiful console. And I'm pretty sure if you can find the silver controllers that go with it, the PlayStation console is like 150, 160 bucks, the silver edition, if you have the whole thing together. So let's start pulling out some totes so we can get to that PlayStation. Ugh. This one's dirty. Let's see what's in tote number one. What is this? Cleaning equipment? A tool? Looks like a paint gun, doesn't it? Yeah. Is that what these are? Two paint guns. Even in these kind of units, I find two guns. <laughs> there was nothing that tipped me off that that could have been a paint kit gun. Absolutely nothing. That was a total guess, and I just was exactly right because obviously I'm a genius. You are. Let's pull out this bag. See, she knows. This bag here and see what's inside of this. What is this? Cool magic trick. Okay. okay. Stuffing. It looks like some old board games in here. Let's see, it looks like an old Connect 4 board. Dominoes. Um, what is that? More dominoes in some type of remote control car called a come up here thunder tumbler and i think the cars are right here but oh well looks like he's out of action and missing a wheel now let's get down this tote because the next one's the one that has the playstation in it we can see what that's got in it this has got simply a nice extension cord that always sells at our yard sale with some spray paint in it so spray paint extension cord yard sale now let's get this tote because i want to know what else is in there if there's any more playstation stuff seems heavy it is definitely heavy you ready yeah let's see oh whoa ufc glove. a ufc glove cool <laughs> these are nice i love the ufc oh, there's the other one cool cool i've never i think it's maybe the second time in like four years of buying storage units that i found a pair of ufc gloves before i know that's pretty cool this guy here is it is a, this is not a Sony brand controller, is it? Dang it, it's not the good one that I was hoping it would be. It's supposed to be a silver controller that comes with it that makes a whole set, but we still have silver PlayStation 2, anything inside? Kingdom, this dude had burnt PlayStation games. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's see, that, what the what? heck? <laughs> it's like... Why have I never seen a fishing pole do this? They always break apart, it's like a baton. <laughs> Gonna go catch a trout. <laughs> There's that, let's see. This coat's got a lot of balls in it, a lot of balls. Definitely. What are those sunglasses? Where? Sorry, these glasses. I want to make sure that they weren't like the camcorder yeah. ones. No. Okay. Uh, no, they're just really weird. Looking. Dang it. This is, look at this microphone. This looks like a TV like th microphone. Hello, ready for my game show or news report? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Other than that, we're seeing a lot of like car stuff, it looks like. Next blue tote, then we're gonna go into a cardboard box because the yellow Ooh. totes, the yellow and black ones are usually the nice expensive ones. What's in this guy? Uh, some books or the actual book a couple of units ago we found the false books you know the ones that are made to look like books but actually have the inside carved out so you always got to check every storage unit unfortunately by law i think it's required to have at least one to three boxes of totes like this that are just full of dirty paperwork to keep for some reason don't know why cardboard box number one right here this is a little military oh, that's actually just rotc so maybe from high school cat little pug right is it a pug um terrier? you tell me i don't know no dogs <laughs> i'm just guessing no, what kind is of this carrier. Uh, bacterial wipes anything else in here what is this what is that oh, that's a pill that? that's a pill okay that's nice this something <laughs> what, is that a face mask is it that's a face mask and a pill that's that's just lovely absolutely <laughs> lovely lovely hey love you oh always sugar pie <laughs> what about oh, another oh, always. always buying duplicates out here let's see we got another little rag little another remote controlled car i think i might see a laptop or something down here let's see what that is oh yeah definitely what that is it's a dell laptop missing the battery unfortunately let's open it up and see what operating system it's got one of these i haven't seen these in ages <laughs> i bet it's windows xp or something which way does it go this way Windows 7, that's not bad. The best version of Windows, in my opinion. But, you know, it's old. Let's see what else is in here. Glass jar, empty. What is that? 
a little heater. What about this little black container? It's just to be glass. It doesn't feel like glasses. Let's see. Huh, just the glasses containers. But hey, at least we got a laptop. So I went to pick up that pill to put it back in the tote, and it says Coca-Cola on it. What kind of pill is this? What is it, like caffeine or something? Or is it a pill form of what Coca-Cola used to put in their drinks back in the day? I don't know. We're just gonna put it in the box and act like we didn't see it. This one's actually completely taped shut. Where did my knife go? I know I have it in my pocket. Bang! Right there. We're prepared. Yeah. For the first time ever it took on us the treasure. Four and a half years <laughs> to get to this point. But we brought a knife this time. Let's see what's inside of it. Is it just clothes? It does look like a lot of clothes. There's a leather something. Clothes, clothes, clothes. This one's a what is the leather jacket? Let's see if it's anything special. Does it have a brand on it? New look. Anyone know what new look is? Let us know in the comments. But other than that, this whole box, yeah, is closed all the way down. Next one here. It looks like clothes again, but again, I'm gonna cut every box open because this guy already seems like somebody who stores stuff sporadically and random. So we definitely gotta look in every little box just to make sure we're not missing something important. Let's see. Is it all just clothes? Jeans, pants, clothes. Yeah, unfortunately, this one's closed too. On to the next. So I went ahead and cut open the next one here, and I see book bags and not clothes. So we are gonna see if there's anything inside. Oh yeah, this bag's definitely not empty. But let's see if it's actually like school supplies or something interesting. Hopefully be, hopefully be. Open up. That looks like actual school supplies in this one, unfortunately. Let's see what's in the silver bag here. Open up. That sounds like pencils and stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, a bunch of pens. When I was in school, pens were like the devil. Who else remembers that? You had these pens on everything. If you touch a pen, you're like basically Satan to the teachers. <laughs> I don't know why. That's how they were. How do I get into this one? There's the zipper. This one is a bunch of books and a McDonald's hat. Woohoo, Mickey D's. Here's a bunch of books. There's also some randomness in here. Can you see in this one? Let's see, like this one's definitely got a bunch of random stuff in it. It's not just like school stuff like the other ones. Like some costume earrings, some more earrings. There's the top to that. Let's see, books. What is that? It's a wall, it's probably a razor, always. Oh, yep, razor and a pair of scissors in there. So hair equipment there. There's definitely more stuff in this bag right here though. Let's see, that's got something in it too. Let's see what that is. What is that? Oh, it's like a little- Fitbit? Is it a Fitbit or a off-brand one? I can't tell. Uh, it's like really ran away, or um, worn away. So it's it might be a Fitbit. Version. Yeah, it might be, you never know. Other things in here, this. Oh. Well, there goes my razor. Here's a Dell charger. Maybe it goes to that laptop, but it looks newer. So I'm hoping there's another laptop in this box somewhere that's actually newer than that one we found. Ooh, that's got so many pay stubs on it. Let's not show that. Lysol, support high school students who don't drink. Yeah, who, like, why? I don't understand, I hate alcohol. I'm weird like that. Absolutely hate it. This got a bunch of random papers, things like that in it. Nothing interesting in there, but we're gonna set it down and go to the bottom thing. I dropped a tin cup. Thank you for that. <laughs> Absolutely necessary. Absolutely necessary. The bottom bag, unfortunately, has a deep pocket travel bag in it, but I think that's it. Yeah, other than that, it's just got an umbrella. I just tried to scoop this box and it is crazy heavy, so I'm kind of excited to see what's in this guy right here. Oh boy. Careful. Oh, yeah, it's heavy, all right. Let's see what it says. Movies, electronics. Okay, maybe we got some PlayStation 2 games. That's what I was hoping with when I saw that on PlayStation 2 in the tote. Hoping we get some old PS2 games. Come on, open up. All right, let's see. We got this unicorn, little heart thing, unicorn. All right, we don't know that. What is this? Anything special in here? These all glasses? What's that brand right there? You see that? Uh, Yeah, I don't know though. Okay, there's a lot of sunglasses in here. Like, look, I mean a lot, okay. What's this right here? 35 bucks smartwatch. Oh, well, there it is. It's a nice little smartwatch, cool. This is a AM FM radio player, that's old school. This is the thing they give you when you leave the hospital to test your breathing. You gotta blow in it as hard as you can. I feel like everyone's seen one of those. Everyone knows somebody that's had one. Let's see, what else is in here? More stuff over here, medication. That is blood pressure machine. I am seeing a lot of movies. I'm not seeing more electronics beyond that though. Like look at all these DVDs here. Bunch of DVDs. CSI. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing no games though. That's what I'm really looking for. They have the same kind of cases. You're not gonna be able to tell it apart unless you pick it up. PlayStation 2 case and a DVD case from the outside look exactly the same. So on this side, oh, look what I see. You see that? Ooh, what, there's four of them. Is there really? Yeah, the two, two on top of each other. Oh man. Oh, these are heavy. These are heavy. These gotta have something in there. And the other stuff was in the box, like the smartwatch. Yeah, the smartwatch is in there. Let's bring them over here. Can I set them right here? There's no way these aren't in here. 
What's this first one here? This is an iPhone, 32 gig iPhone 7. Look at that. Sitting right in the box in a case beautifully. <laughs> There's that one. I said I felt that way when I lifted it up. I was like, no way. This one is also a 32 gigabyte iPhone 7. No way it's not in there. <laughs> Bang. iPhone 7. Isn't that just beautiful? Beautiful. Let's see. These look newer. What are these guys? Sit. Is it? 32 gig iPhone 6. You're right. Can you tell I don't use Apple at all? <laughs> get out. Get out. Get out. That okay. What about this one? Get out. Is that the same thing? iPhone 6S. Yeah, same thing. Look at that. It's got a little crack in it, unfortunately. It's still in there. All right, you. I know you got to be in there, so come out. Come out with your hands up right now. I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas recently, so I'm in that kind of mood. Let's get out. Get out. Why is it fighting me so much? There it goes. Finally got it. We know it's in there. You can tell by the weight. Oh, trolled me. Oh, no. Okay, I was about to say, it <laughs> trolled me. That's four iPhones right there. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Anything else in here, though? We got a bunch of CDs. The smartwatch fell out, but obviously I'll put it back in there. What is that? Something. Speaker? I think it's a speaker. Go on this side. Just to make sure I didn't bury nothing. It looks like more burnt CDs like that. Bunch of two graves in the desert, the banker, human capsule, bunch of burned stuff. And are these cases just DVDs? Yeah, just DVDs. That's the best box so far. Which box you choose? Left box or right box? Right. Before I pull it down though, you better leave this video a thumbs up right now. We spent $1,500 on this unit, but so far it seems awesome. And make sure, of course, you're subscribed if you're not already, because we buy storage units like this all the time. Literally every single week, every single month. Let's see what's inside this one. Balloons! Yay, forget the iPhone. This is what I came for, the balloons. So a bunch of balloons, let's get them out the way. Uh, purse, anything in the purse, anything in the purse? It's a, uh, what's the brown, Visconti, Visconti? <laughs> I do not do clothes and designer stuff like that. I'm so, I wear the same clothes since like middle school. I don't care about clothes. What is that? It says $1 on it, whatever it is. I have no idea. Gerber Life Insurance. This looks like a lot of personal stuff again. Oh, no. <gasps> That's a Honeywell cash box. With the thing in it. Look at that. It's got the key in it. We're gonna open that in just a second. <laughs> oh my God. This is what I'm talking about. Look, there's another, another one. one. No way. Is that That's a briefcase of okay, some sort. Some kind. We're going to figure that out in a second. Okay, okay, okay. Look at all this jewelry. To, oh my God, this is all jewelry. Oh. This is Whoa. all, look at that. Man, there could really well be some gold in there. We're going to set that aside too. <laughs> oh yes, look at all these. Necklace galore, necklace galore. This right here, is that all? Are these all look, look like, all vape and, like questionable smoking. activity devices. Yeah. <laughs> Questionable activity, activity devices, device. definitely. What's in yeah. the, there's a shoebox right Is it? I want to get these bags out too. What does that say on it? Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that that's what this name is. No, it definitely could not be true. It could be some Jordans or something. It is. Or maybe not heels and money. Yeah. Look in there. Those blue are definitely blue heels. studded heels. <laughs> They're not lying there. All right, what's else in here? A bunch of paperwork. A bunch of paperwork. Sorry, this is a lot of stuff. Bunch of, what is that? Another wallet. There's a bunch of costume jewelry like all over the bottom down there. You see it all? You. Look at these checkbooks. Anything inside? No. But all right. That's man. That's a lot of jewelry down there. Okay. Yeah. Let's start going through some of this stuff over here. Get like to the, the bread and butter of this box. Yeah. But no kidding. Let's see. This right here. This bag's gotta have something in it. Oh, it does. Let's see. Papers, paper, BCU health, uh, perfume. That's it for that. Actually, there's a bigger section. Let's see. Uh, it's got some jewelry in there too. This box is gonna have like a whole lot. Hey, a key. A key. I found a key. All right. Saving. We're keys. keeping every key because we need to find a key to that moped. Really bad. Nothing in there. All right. Go through the wallets first, then the boxes. Yeah. I, I agree. agree. That jinx. <laughs> receipts, receipts, receipts. Anything in this middle one? Nothing. What about over here? Ooh, that looks like a lot of stuff at, for sure. Let's flip through it, see if we see cash, papers, papers. I'm just gonna put all the papers in this box because we gotta go through it again anyway. There's an ID, we'll make sure they get that back and it all allows to look this person up because I like to see the backstory. Let's see, more papers and cards, papers and cards. Let's see, papers and cards, papers and cards. Looks like that's all that's in this wallet. Papers and cards, one more wallet and then we can get into the fun stuff. Oh, this has a lot of cards in it here. Let's see, pictures, cards, lots of cards. Let's open up this section right here though. Anything in there? Paper, ah, get in the middle, more papers. But look at all the cards on here. I mean, there very well could be gift cards in there, so we'll definitely look forward to that. Obviously, if it's a bank card, we can't do nothing with that. But gift cards, 
our property. Let's see what's in here. All right. And then I'm gonna look in the jewelry First bag a little case. bit. Oh, is that what I think it is? Don't look over here. No, it's not quite what I think it was, but I don't really know what to call it. This is a personal letter. This is just, unfortunately, paperwork, personal stuff. So we'll try to get that back. <laughs> Wanna look in the jewelry bag? We're getting closer to the box. We are, look at it, just sitting there looking at it. <laughs> Can you see it over here at all? I wanna pour it out, I'll look through it just a little bit. I'm not gonna go through it all in detail. I just wanna make sure I don't see anything that could potentially be gold right off the bat. Let's see, open up. Ugh. Let's look at that, it's costume. I see a $5.99 price tag. Yeah, I think you can, you can tell by looking at this. Obviously, we'll look through it a little more, but the majority of this right here is costume jewelry. So let's set that here in this. I don't like the keys in it, that makes it unfun. I wanted to break it. <laughs> Let's see, turn you this way, you ready? Yeah. Uh, what is this? What are these beads? Really, does this open up? Yeah. To Wow, that was the most anticlimactic ending of any box ever. Can I point out that I can just see there's one, two, I think three levels of these boxes back. So there's a lot of stuff to go through. Let's go through the one you didn't choose now and see if you picked the right or wrong box. And you know what? Judging off what it says on the top, I'm gonna say you picked the right box. Yay! Bedroom sheets and cup. That could be concealment for, you know, a bunch of cash. You know, you never know. Never what if that's code name? Like I put the sheets in that box. And sheets actually means $100 bills. You never know. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, maybe it is actually sheet. Leaving it up to you again. Left box, right box. Right. Always go right, huh? Yes. Let's see if you're right. Uh, I think you're wrong this time. Ah. It says M room, clothes, and stuff. Stuff. Stuffs is, you know, like that could be a lot of things. Let's see what this stuff is. It also has the date of 3-15-21, which is probably, they got, probably got professional movers to move this stuff because it seems just kind of randomly thrown in boxes. But let's see, the boxes seem organized. That's why I think it is. This looks like a bunch of clothes, or this is like a massage thingy, isn't it? Yeah. This is a bunch of clothes, unfortunately. What about the bag? Empty. Let's check this side of the box. Also, nothing but clothes, and what is that? This is like a tent, no, a sleeping bag, sorry. And then an empty bag. So this one is unfortunately closed, which will probably just be all donated. So this is the key we pulled out of that one box and I realized it says China on the key. And if you look at the back of the moped, it says made in China. So I was thinking maybe it fits. I don't know if it's gonna be like a full size car key or a miniature key because it's a miniature vehicle. Yeah, I don't think that's going in there. <laughs> but we're still gonna keep it in our pocket because we don't know what it goes to. Let's hope that key's somewhere in this unit. Let's go to the box you didn't choose now. The poor neglected stereo equipment. You put clothes over stereo equipment you're in trouble. I Big couldn't trouble. read it. That's good. Reading it's cheating. We have to just guess based on boxes. If this is actually stereo equipment, that'll make your record one and one. So you're still at 50% win rate. That's decent. <laughs> All right. Uh, that is definitely what that is. Definitely stereo equipment right there. A bunch of speakers. Let's see if this guy here has a model on it. A Panasonic. Do you see any numbers anywhere? It's a five disc changer, but it just says Panasonic. Usually it has like a model number on it. Maybe it's on the back. There we go. Panasonic SA-PT750. DVD home theater sound system. So hopefully that's got some good value to it. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Maybe not one more time, probably multiple uh, times. Left or right? Don't look. Uh, left this time. Left? You yeah. picked a better one based on the labels. All right. That one says bedroom sheets. This one just says dad's winter gear, which could just mean clothes, but maybe dad's a hunter in the winter. Hopefully. <laughs> you never know. Maybe dad likes to stay inside and play video games in the winter. Maybe. His, his gaming gear. <laughs> Let's see what he's got going on. It looks like... Dad's got some winter gear. Yeah, these are shorts. He's like me in winter. I'll be wearing shorts too. It's like right today, the high 69. I'm still on my shorts and slides because that's how we roll. Is it all closed? Okay, that one's all closed. Let's toss it right there. Just go ahead and grab it. the other one. It says bedroom sheets. Because so far, they've actually been pretty accurate, but that doesn't mean they're going to be accurate all the way through. That's why we got to check every single box. Because yeah, it could be bedroom sheets on the top and then a safe on the bottom. Exactly. You just never ever ugh, no that's why you got to check every piece of it to be sure but this one does unfortunately yeah all blankets and clothes in there let's go ahead and change it up because somebody suggested it who did that who did me that? me me anyone me. else around here oh was you me yeah yeah let's i'm go tired of going through cardboard boxes but cardboard boxes have had four iphones a honeywell safe jewelry let's see what's in this tape tote though what the heck a bunch of cds oh wow these really all burned uh the Sex scandal, that's not good. Let's see, let's see if any of these are video games. <laughs> that is a negative experience. <laughs> well, that's all burned stuff too. I want authentic video games, preferably guys, not burned ones. Are these all, look at this. 
Man, I usually find burned CDs in storage units, but this right here oh, may no. hold the record. That's all burned. This is all burned. Oh my gosh, really? Really, what does that say? Hood movies. Hood movies, all right. <laughs> uh, I wanna pull out one of these. If it's all burned, then Jeez. I think we can make a safe assumption. There's like 10 things in here of just CDs. Oh, wow, well, I think we can make an assumption. There's probably like a thousand burned CDs at least. Since you like to mix it up, do you wanna go for the cardboard box, the black bag and blue tote, or another black and yellow tote? Black bag and blue tote. All right, I'll just say blue tote. Blue tote. Ugh. Okay, blue. that black, that tote's heavy. So let's get this bag first. I'm gonna need two hands for it. This. All closed. Yeah. Man, we don't want to look at that. Let's get this guy right here. Oh, it's really heavy. Oh, look behind it. What? Ugh. Yamaha. Yamaha stereo receiver. We'll see if that's in there. Why is this so heavy? Ugh. This is. Ooh, that's whoa. why it's so heavy. A bunch of vinyls. Why do all records look the exact same? Because they're so old, they're always beat up a little bit on the edges. Unless you got like a serious collector. Lil Wayne. He has. <laughs> Why did I not know he had like uh, records? Uh, P. Diddy. So it's gonna be hip hop. Those are good. Blood, sweat, and tears. Hip hop music. Again, I said it before with CDs. Hip hop, everything's the easiest to sell because it's like I don't know. To me, it seems like the most popular brand of music there is. But there's probably what do you think? 100, 200 records in here at least. I've been trying to avoid this one like the plague because it says glass plates with cups, and I really don't like looking at kitchen stuff. But it's starting to get in the way now. So let's see if it's telling the truth. Because so far they're completely honest with all their labels, aren't they? Yep. Like 100 percent. And they're not lying this time either. I'm gonna pull out one so we can look at the brand on the bottom. And you guys can let me know in the comments good or not. Let's see, there it is. Royal Norfolk, made in China. So it looks like it's definitely, I see a lot of the same thing. So it might be an entire dish set. Let me know what you guys know in the comments. Now it's total mystery because neither one of these boxes are labeled. So I'm gonna ask you again. Right. Right this time? All right, it was right, 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 left is. Not right, I don't know. <laughs> I guess technically. Where did I put the knife? It's in here. What's the right. um, get rid of die trying thing? If I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm right. Because I could have been right because I could have been wrong. I could be wrong right now. I could be wrong right now, but I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know it's to the movie, you're probably like, what the heck is this guy talking about? This is our random, oh, another PlayStation, is it? Yeah, hey. another PS2, this one got a game in it? No. So let's see, I put the knife down. We got a PlayStation 2 again, two of those. I think the original ones like that are like 75 bucks right now. That's just a charger wire. Wow, look at all this. I, like I don't know. Electronic galore, and that is weird. Like he says, every single one is in a bag. Um, what's that? Anything in there? Blood pressure. But it is very, very strange. Yep. I see controllers over here too. Look, PlayStation 2 controllers, little PlayStation camera. Uh, what else is in here? Just electronics other than that, and a lot of them. Now let's get to the other one on the bottom. Whoa! This one's a lot heavier than that one was. And again, no label. So let's cut it open and see what it is. Isn't this fun? It's like Christmas. It is. No idea what I'm about to open up. I want the PlayStation games. I want the PlayStation game. Oh, oh well. No, there's a DVD. Dang it, they have, I see a green case. Oh, there's Xbox games in there. Look, you see that? That's NBA 2K14. Is it in there? No. What about these DVDs? Are these all burnt? Like, look at these. They have, all have like the writing on These are burnt movies, man. Somebody really liked movies and somebody really didn't like paying for movies. There's another Xbox game in there, Tiger Woods. Is that one in there? That one is. Oh look, GameCube, NBA 06, that one's in there. So we're definitely gonna have to go through these because there could definitely obviously be video games in there. Like, what is that one, PC? Yeah. Oh my gosh, the old GameStop cases. Chronicles of Narnia for the GameCube. That's good, we haven't found a GameCube yet. So hopefully that means there's a GameCube in here. Uh, Undisputed 3, Redemption. Let's see, these are all DVDs. CD, it's Friday. Probably one of the top three funniest movies in history, human history. Uh, not seeing much else over there. Other GameCube one. So I want to kind of move these around a little bit and look for more video game cases. Obviously, we'll go into more detail later on, but from what I'm seeing, it's 90% DVDs. Let's pull this blue tote out and see what's in this one. What was the last one? This was all the records, isn't it? Record. I was say, it felt super heavy, so I got an idea. And I was correct with my idea. A bunch of, again, let's see what we see in there. The locks. Come on, give me some big names. And then again, I probably won't recognize half of them, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But Def Jam, Murder Inc. There's a bunch of good stuff in here. Again, I bet you, Def Jam again. These are gonna be very easy sales because it's so much hip hop. Hip hop's always so easy money. Next yellow and black tote is, dun dun. Why does every unit Chicken have these? Bro. When I see these boxes, this usually confirms what I'm assuming. Like, nobody would pack that normally. This has to be like a mover that moved this whole house. Because when they move, if you didn't know, 
They move everything. They're gonna take your couch, your cigarette butts, your old food, your <laughs> trash can. Everything's getting packed away and taken. So this, unfortunately, old food just goes to trash. This mattress up here is gonna fight me. I already know pulling it down is gonna be fun. So I'm gonna get this out the way first because when our battle begins, it could get very messy. And I don't want this to be hurting the, you know, cross fire. We got a little Mr. Barbecue Grill. Check out this keyboard. Techno Beat Electric Keyboard. Is it have a model number somewhere? Why does nothing put a model number on the front anymore? Look at the back. Shouldn't that be common sense? It's really light. Look at there's nothing on it. This feels like this is like a kid's thing. I don't think it's a real one. It's super light compared to the real ones. Then we have two little like propane tank and a foot thing. So now this is out the way, it's time for me and this guy to go. I think it's gonna hit me. Probably. Let's go. Come down. Come down easily. Come down easily. Come down easily. Yeah, it's attacking. It's attacking. Yeah. See, that's why you don't <laughs> mess with me. Let's get this one out. I'm trying to bring the boxes down. Uh, come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. Ooh. Okay. Mattress is down. Let's go to this last yellow and black tote. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Well, that's a lot of food. At least canned food. That stuff never goes bad. You know, that can at least be donated. The other stuff, nah. Not that's so gonna much. be real heavy. Too. That's gonna be really heavy. It's a backbreaker. This feels like the same thing. Oh, come on. Ramen. A bunch of ramen. Why is it so heavy for people ramen? Fortune cooked. <laughs> and uh, there's more canned food on the bottom. Well, these two are all food. Let's get them out of the unit. So we got the two totes of food out, which unveiled this tote. I lifted the top up and you'll never guess what it is. It's not food, but if they had abundance of one other thing, it's literally just burnt CDs. Probably two, three hundred of them in there. Half of them aren't even labeled. So no idea what they are. They might be home adult movies. They might be new. I have no idea. I need to ask you a serious question that you probably never heard before. What's up? <sighs> Left or right? <laughs> right. Right. All right, let's go. <laughs> Let's see what's in this guy. I'm giving my knife back over here. Duct tape shut with no label. You know what? That does not sound good to me. That sounds like noodles. No. It really does. I hope I'm wrong, but that's exactly what it sounds like. It's like pasta or macaroni or something like that. Please be wrong. Please be wrong. Please be wrong. Oh, yay. Hey, hey, you're wrong. It's game. Way better. Thank goodness. Simon says, Lego. Oh, look. It's done came apart. Uh, there we go. A little miniature Lego house. Ooh, look, a PlayStation, a PlayStation box. Cool. That's original PlayStation Yeah, that's box. the OG PS1. So, the pickup sticks, Monopoly, Star Puzzle, and Boggle. Boggle. Let me just watch that episode of King of the Hell the other night <laughs> where Peggy's in the Boggle, Boggle. tournament. Boggle. <laughs> Please be in there. Is that, oh, that's the, um, oh. the mini. I don't own this, actually. No. This has a lot of games on it. Look at this. Destruction Derby, Final Fantasy, the original, Grand Theft Auto over there. What? Metal Gear Solid, Rayman, Tekken 3. <laughs> this is a lot of good. Twisted Metal and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. You know I what? I didn't even know they had that. I, I didn't either. Let's see. That's in there. We just found, remember, we just found the NES in another unit, like, not long ago. Now we got both, because that's staying with me. That's not being sold. Uh, Connect 4, Monopoly, Family Feud is at least Steve Harvey version. The other guy was kind Wait, of creepy. Wait, that's a Monopoly Cheaters edition? Yeah, with handcuffs on it. Oh, cool. Nice, little twist on the game. Look, that, who, who agrees the other host before Steve Harvey was kind of a creep? Uh, so, um, sorry, is that the Atari? Oh, no, no, Sega. No, what is this one? I don't know what this one is. Uh, I don't even know. It's just a bunch of random games. I don't think it's like one original console. Huh. It's just like a whatever console with a bunch of preloaded games on it, I guess. But that, what'd you say? NES Classic. Oh, really? I just said oh, we just found that in another unit. Look, now we got two of them. I guess that means we sell one of them. The <laughs> NES Classic and the PlayStation Classic. And then we got the Classic Bingo. Checkers. Checkers is like my favorite game. What are these? Hey. These are bingo chips. We're definitely keeping some of these. Oh yeah. Jenga, the most friend ending, actually second most friend ending game. Monopoly is obviously number one. That was a lot better than Noodle. It's going to be tough for the left box to beat your right box that time, but <laughs> let's see if it can. If it can, that just means we're doing really good. That doesn't sound good. What do you think? That sounds like kitchen stuff. That's what, do you what think? my thought was. Yeah, unfortunately it's what it sounds like. And that's what it looks like. Definitely, I definitely picked the right box. This is a put out at the yard sale for a dollar a piece. Probably make five to 10 bucks on that box kind of box. Look how many boxes are in here now. Four, eight, plus the back row are loaded all the way. So there's like 18 right here, plus those, plus those. So many more. So make sure you subscribe and come back next time to see the rest. Peace out.